Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to talk about Streo Integrated Amplifier Kenwood KA34. The topic are how to disassemble the unit cleaning, replacing capacitor, replacing ACK hybrid IC, desolder, solder, thick wires, maintenance variable resistor, assemble the unit and testing. This is the Kenwood model KA34 integrated stereo amplifier which was popular in the 80 and 94 household use. Well, immediately we start to disassemble top cover, unscrew three screw on the right side, three on the left side. and two on the back side. Lift the back cover, push it back, then lift the whole thing up. Let's take a look at the internal together you have seen right. It consists of a Fintech Streo amplifier with an STK integrated amplifier. And this amplifier is thin and it uses a step-down power transformer. The printed circuit board of this amplifier looks dirty and we will clean it. The heatsink of this amplifier is not that big, but it is medium for a size. We should not pull this full potentiometer. To remove this mainboard, we need to unscrew 8 screw on the back of this unit. Then there are 4 screw under. These are 4 pieces of screw for the transformer fastener. Then disconnect some of the wires connected to the AC outlet socket. And remember, this Glen cable must be removed as well to release the power cord. I use the mineralized water to clean the entire surface of the main board because I think this water does not conduct electricity. Before the work will be done, it would be nice if I share the block and schematic diagram. And I don't recommend cleaning the inside of the switch. Unscrew the two pieces of this STK IC. Then continue to on this bipolar transistor. The two screw below heatsink must be also unscrewed. The dirt underneath also need to be cleaned. There is some kind of foam under this boat. I also need to remove it up. And we also have to plan to desoldering this 13 capacitor and also this STKAC. 
and this six capacitor must be also be replaced because they are all. For the soldering of this 13 capacitor, I used manual soldering with the soldering pump. I also do the same thing on the STKIC. All the capacitors and all STK4152, I have to say goodbye. This six capacitor need to be soldering as well because they are old and I have to replace them with new one. The traces underneath the capacitor leave mop mark. This need to be cleaned. The new 19 pieces of capacitor and STK 4152 ready to solder. I also have to replace the full binding post because the old construction was not good. Apply a small amount of silicone thermal paste to this transistor. Put the heatsink then screw the two screw underneath. Apply a small amount of silicone thermal paste to the metal of the STK4152 IC and place it on the heatsink. Screw then tighten them. Solder all the pin of STK4152. The soldering result is not so good because the pin are rusty. This is an all stock STK. The result also need to be cleaned with a gasoline or thinner. Place the main board on the bottom cover of this unit. Then install the transformer screw. 
and also make sure all the screw on the back are okay. I spray WD-40 to clean all this potentiometer. Let's listen to the sound reproduced by this amplifier. See you next time.